Okay, we'll see if we can do this in 10 minutes. What I'm going to do is just demonstrate how to do a real quick um, little correction of what we did in class, how to use a calculator to program just the basic kinematic equations. We have some that take physics now, you'll all take physics later. Understanding that basically and when you throw something in three dimensions even, you can break it up into an up and down and then an over in the north and an over in the east, easterly directions. Um, and that, that you can use something called parametric equations in a calculator to model that. And we're just going to go ahead and just show you how to do a program. Um, there's a whole series of videos out. To, I'm just going to call this KIN. E calculator on the screen, it's not really that, the resolution is not that great. But you hit there. Now, like I talked about before, a program is basically get some input do some manipulations and stick some output. Now, um, realistically what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and input some data that we can then put into uh, so we can change what is in our, our graphing mode. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to program and we're going to go to input output and we're going to go for prompt instead of input. Prompt is actually pretty nice because it asks you the question. Prompt and we're going to put alpha v for velocity and we're gonna say program input output prompt and I'm gonna write out or I'm just gonna use I'm not gonna use T for theta because T is kinda of for time but I'm gonna use I guess I'll use O uh, A for an angle alpha a so the angle in the xy plane and then program input output prompt for in this case I'm going to use P for phi and what that is it's the angle up off the horizon and so we're really just inputting three different angles here and now here's what we can do we know that we want the y the z component of this is going to be, and we're going to just call that Z, I guess, the Z component of this is going to be the sine, in other words, it's the up, the opposite, the sine of phi times velocity. So what we're going to do is we're going to say sine of alpha P right and then we're going to multiply that by v alpha v and we're going to store that in I guess we'll put that in alpha z now what you're going to soon discover is it's quite limiting what this program can do program language can do in terms of multi letters and we'll kind of try to fill that out you, there are, you are allowed to use more than one letter for a variable for some, especially for lists. But if we took the sine of P times V, we can actually take now the cosine of alpha P times the, I'm sorry, I want to go back here. I'm going to go backwards, backwards, delete, delete, backwards, delete, cosine of P alpha in other words, that's the up angle. That's going to kind of strip out the what we're going to call the high noon vector or the, the vector projected onto the plane. And now we're going to take that times the cosine of what we called A, alpha A. And then we're going to multiply that by the vector v alpha and we're going to store that into the x alpha x now in this case z is the velocity in the x direction and x is the velocity z is the velocity in the z direction and x is the velocity in the x direction hit an enter here finally we can take cosine I'm sorry, cosine of alpha p. In other words, the cosine of the altitude angle times the sine 
alpha A. Back, back, delete, over, close parentheses, times alpha V. And we're going to store that into Y. So here's what we have. We have now if we run this program, it's going to put these three variables. It's going to take V, A, and P, and it's going to put fill in Z, X, and Y. Z being the Z velocity, X being the X velocity, and Y being the Y velocity. All we have to do now is hit self second. I'm sorry. We need to hit program, input output. And maybe you might want to do control. We're going to hit stop. And we can hit second quick. We can run that program by saying program, enter. We want the velocity, maybe it's 10. And we want A for the angle in the plane. And we're going to say that's 25. And P, we want that to be, that is phi, the angle up. And we might say that's 25 degrees. And it saw and it ran the program. Let's see what now is in alpha x. There's a value in that, there's an alpha y, and there is an alpha z. So one thing you'll notice is we forgot to look to the north star. We should go back and change our program or so we definitely set the mode to be degrees. So based on that we've fed information into an x, y, and a z variable that which we can then use in our graphing calculator. So I'm going to hit second quit here and I won't finish this out but I'll just kind of get one laid out. I can more or less go down here to mode and what we did in class is worked on the parametric. We're going to hit parametric there. Second quit. Parametric equations are equations where the x, y, and even the z or something else are going to be dictated or parameters of some other variable, usually t, but it can be much more obtuse than that as you get into true mathematics. And true mathematics when you have a computer is just learning to go out and experiment and play with what you know is happening in the world around you. Everything is a function of time. Um, and so if we go here and go into y here, we can see that we can say that x is equal to, we'll just start with this, we can sew with alpha x times t. And y, if we think of y in this case to be z, we can say z is going to be alpha z times t plus 0.5 times minus, and notice you're using the minus there, you're not using the, ne the, the subtract, minus 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared. And what you've done here is you've modeled x is going to be the x value and z y here is going to be the z value. Um, and what you're going to see is you can kind of model both sides of looking at it from the first or third base. But for now, we're just going to learn to now go ahead and hit second quit and graph it. And here you get an error. You're going to go to the error. Uh, it has a problem with X. So let's hit second quit. Let's run our program. Kinematic. V of 5. A of I don't know, 10 degrees, and P of 10 degrees. Now if we go to graph, go to, it's having a problem with X at T, so it doesn't have a value in X. Let's see where the alpha X is. Alpha X, second quit, alpha X, you see that X is zero. Somehow X is zero, we'll have to look into it, but that's basically how you go about programming. Thanks for listening. We'll place this out and see what we can 
get it to do on YouTube.